Okay, somebody made several、um, comments about and, and ask、uh, about how the Raymarine Axiom 3D Fish Finder gain adjustment、um, can be used, or how the gain functionality in this、uh, 3D Fish Finder look. So I finally got time to because in winter the fishing is quite a slow. Finally got time to、um, take my fish finder out and、um, use it on on Burke Lake and、uh, you know so I can show you some screenshots that I recorded、uh, of the Axion Raymarine Axion、uh, fish finder. As you can see here on the left hand side, what I have is the under the auto adjustment without any enhancements. And on the right hand side are the screens with fifty percent maximum gain adjustment. So Raymarine actually set an upper bound.、Um, you know, you can have fifty percent gain or you know increase the strength sonar strength to fifty percent. Or decrease the sonar strength to fifty percent to weed out the noise,、um, the fake、uh, fish signal. So、um, here we go. And as you can see here, the top two screens are for traditional sonar. The bottom two screens are for three、uh, D fish finder. What I don't understand is, I thought when I took this fish finder out at、um, Chesapeake Bay. I did、uh, made a 360 degrees turn so that the calibration of this fish finder should have been done in that last trip. But I、uh, don't under what I don't understand is you can see these two、uh, 3D images、uh, kind of show that、uh, my 3D fish finder was not、uh, calibrated. So I don't know what you know what's going on there, but anyway. So the top screens are the traditional sonar, bottom screens are for 3D sonar. It's a Raymarine nine inch with、um, fish finder with、uh, real vision 100. So it's a 3D sonar here, and as you can see, this is the same、um, fish at about 20 foot、uh, deep, 20 feet deep. And then when I put、uh, the sensitivity or the sonar strength to 50% more, then I get a more a wider solid color in the of the fish. Same thing with the 3D 3D fish finder. You can see the blue or purple color, you know, turn to more when I have this、uh, gain a sonar strength adjustment、uh, up to 50% more than the automatic. Setting.、Um, so let's play the tape. So I'm.、Uh, this is actually from Rayview, recorded from Rayview, Rayview, and、um, you know from my iPhone. So the way you get this、uh, sonar history screen, it's ten minutes. So here it's、uh, zero minutes at the time life. And then this is ten minutes ago. Okay, so this is the play button. In other words, when you want to get rid of the sonar history bar, that's what you do. Again, I'm using two application here. Left hand side is the chart app, and the right hand side is a traditional sonar chart app. And I'm at Burke Lake here, as you can see. This is the dam area, and this is、um, the state launch、uh, boat ramp. And then、um, over here, that's the、uh, county Fairfax County Park boat ramp. So let's continue to play the. And you can see these are all fish. These are fish. The arch, the arch looking thing. And these、uh, red dots. Oh, let me stop the tape here. Those red dots that that、uh, you just saw at the in the chart. Those are the waypoints where I saw fish before. Um, so I mark the waypoints, and、uh, what I want to explain on this page is this is the image sensitivity button. Okay, if you touch 
this button here, then the these three button or uh, four buttons are gonna show up the sensitivity, and uh, these two buttons uh, you already know, which is the zoom in button and the zoom out button. You press this, it's gonna zoom in. This is the man overboard, um, and this is I don't remember, but. The sensitivity bottom is the sonar strength. You touch this, and then you it, there is a ruler bar he, uh, show show up later. But uh, we can get that. We can see that later. But this is the Im, Im, uh, Im intensity um, button. Basically, it's the color strength. Okay, um, meaning um, fifty percent. When you set the uh, lower limit as the color then the um, color uh, then the strength above above that is going to show one color but the rest is gonna uh, the rest below is gonna be according to that seven color um, that the Raymarine preset so this is the surface filter which is the noise from the prop motor uh, prop um, you you increase this, you're gonna pick up more of that surface noise. You, you decrease this uh, sensitivity more. Um, you know you decrease it, then it's gonna reduce the uh, noise you get from the prop. And this button is set everything back to auto. So let's continue to play the tape. I'm at about 30 feet deep of water here. Okay, so you can see this is zero, this is 10, this is 20, this is 30. Oh, I'm sorry, at a 20 feet deep of water here. Okay, uh, boot, yeah, this is the bottom, so this is a 30 feet. These, this is fish, um, fish, and this is, I just I just set the gain to 100%, sorry, 50% more. This, this fish is at 20, 20, 20 feet deep, okay, and, um, and as you can see, I'm in the middle of the lake, okay. So that I have the uh, sonar strength set at 50% the maximum, and I just reduce it, to, you know, down to 7% and 0%. Now it's automatic. So now it's back back to automatic with the chart, and um, so that's the sonar mode you can see there. Okay, and um, I think I swipe uh, my finger from left to right to bring the sonar. Um, history view again okay you can see this is the live button or the play live button here now I um, got rid of the I hit that play button so I got rid of the sonar history again and that's probably I don't know something this is probably something some tree branches or something I don't know at the bottom of the lake 30 feet deep you can see that I'm in the middle of the lake about 30 feet deep very deep. Mm, you see some fish hugging the bottoms here. And then uh, I hit the, um, I, I swipe my finger from left to right again and I try to look back to the previous 10 minutes, right? It's a, right now it's about five, 50% of it, so it's about five minutes ago, okay? You can see here, it's five minutes ago. I, can, I, I try to, you know, move the ruler here um, to, tr to try to find that fish image here. And this is auto, I just increased the game to 19% here, okay? And then this is a live button. And you can see some fish hugging the bottom. Again, you can see the fish here. You know, this is was 34% and 50%. So what I'm showing you there is I increased the game from 0% uh, to 50%, up from 0 to uh, 19 to 34, and then eventually to 50%. And you can see this is at 50% sonar strength. 50% more of sonar strength, more from the automatic Okay, so this is the 50% more. And I'm trying to take a screenshot here. Okay, so I just see screenshot saved. You know, I have a micro SD card inserted in the back of the multifunction display. Um, otherwise, you cannot save the image, the screen image. Okay, you got to have a micro SD card saved. Here is a 3D image here. Okay, now I'm in the 3D zone. Okay. 
so it's not supposed to do this um, this angle thing you know so I try to again I um, uh, play the pause button and then now the history um, you know screen comes up let me go back to the 3d so in order to bring the sonar history you, you hit this button here there's this double um, slash you see that I just hit that uh, two um, vertical lines and now the sonar appear and if I hit this play again then it get rid of this sonar history so the, right now I'm in 3d mo I'm in the history I'm trying to look back um, 0 to 10 minutes back you know so this may be about two two point three minutes you know I'm looking at uh, three minutes back okay and you can see here real vision 3d and this button like I said before this is the image adjustment button when you hit that then the three buttons are going to show up okay And I try to touch, so what happened in there is I try to touch the gain sensitivity here. I try to increase the, um, the 3D uh, sonar strength to 50% more. Um, that's why for whatever reason it's, uh, you know, keeps switching uh, back to that. And that's what, what I'm, uh, that's what um, you're seeing now. In other words, I didn't know what I was doing, um, you know, so I tried to kind of uh, touch the wrong buttons or the wrong place on the screen, okay? But, um, like I said, in order to bring up this history bar in 3D, you have to press that two vertical lines. That's the pause. You push that pause button and then this history bar will come back up um, or you know oh there we go I got it so this is in 3d and then uh, I just increase the gain to 50% so this is the 50% uh, sonar strength 50% more of the sonar strengths that you you are seeing the, the sonar image there okay and uh, you can see here this is with the uh, gain set to 50% uh, more Okay, how do I know that? Because this top portion, instead of being black, it turned to gray. So I know I'm at 50% uh, more of um, the automatic strengths. Again, I just hit that pause button and now I'm back um, still at 50% uh, more because that, that button, see the top part, the upper part is uh, in color, in gray color instead of the t total black color. So I'm still at 50% gain, 50% gain of sonar strengths in 3D mode right now. So, and I don't have any color or intensity gain. I don't have any surface filter gain. You know, that's why those are all black. Okay, now see that? I just I hit that again. Now I see that? Now this is 0% auto, which is, um, see? It's gain auto, so it shows gain auto. You know, everything is in gray color. Okay, so there's the 3D um, gain. And you can see here, this is the 3D gain auto. So I'm at auto, auto. All three are auto now, auto, auto, auto. You know, auto, auto. So I'm back to this, um, 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 Mavic Pro drone, the fish finder mode, and select a sonar. I decided to go to the um, to go to the fish finder mode. And there you go. So you can see. Um, so it sh I, I touched the 3D sonar and uh, it came up to. So I make make um, you know trying to position the 3D in the center of the. Oh yeah, what's not showing on this is uh, the speed of my boat. And uh, I think I wasn't moving. That's why it, it looked kind of strange because this should be going uh, behind the boat. Instead, it's like, you know, just drifting. So the, the sonar is not um, picking up the, the, the image correctly because I was drifting instead of going forward at, uh, you know, two mile, three mile, four mile, five mile speed. In other words, I wasn't on my way. I wasn't underway. 
um, I was really really drifting so the 3d sonar cannot be displayed when you're drifting or properly when you're drifting you really have to have some speed in your boat in, in order to have the 3d sonar pick up the strings okay so um, you know but the point is to show you the gain the the, the 3d uh, gain and the intensity gain and all that you know so there you have it um, this is to show you the difference between the um, traditional sonar and the 3d sonar of the gain sensitivity okay just how different they look so let's go back to this uh, first screen here so this is basically 50 you know 50 percent more I gotta pause this okay here we go so again even the play thing is you you you, you hit that double bar and then it, the the play will pause pause and then I can explain this page this picture to you otherwise it's just gonna continue to play so if I hit this triangle forward um, or right um, pointing triangle then um, it's gonna play and it's not gonna wait for me to talk uh, about this page anyway so you can see the strands um, after 50% gain um, you know this is the ruler of the gain to show you the gain um, you know and um, it will show a number of 50 percent you know if it's auto it will show the auto here just like these are auto you know so you know there you have it um when i have time i'll show you this um I'm, i'll do another video to show you the uh 50 percent gain on the side um finder um as well as the down vision um down vision you know side vision and down vision because i covered the traditional sonar and the 3d in this video but i'll do another one to show you the side vision and the down vision um with and without the 50 percent sonar uh gain okay there you have it